should you buy the Jordan Y906, this might be Russ's best signature shoe yet. Let's rock. Okay, let's try this. I wish I had eyes in the back of my head. I've been working on my pride, but the rest of me cares. Every time I feel alive, it be loving me, yeah. You my sinner, don't fold like it's vanity fair. Every time that I be down, then I be running to you. It's ironic that I'm scared, but I'm calling you boo. Please don't ghost me, love me, hug me, hold me, see me, grow me, I see, whole thing, bragging, boasting. Welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to be looking at the different performance aspects for Russ's sixth signature shoe with Jordan brand by testing out the cushion, traction support, and more. But first I'll go ahead and touch on just some of the basic info. So as for the retail price, these are gonna be retailing for a pretty nice spot at only $140. I mean, six models in at that price, that's just not bad at all. And over the last few years, I do wanna say, probably dating back to like the why not twos. The look just has been pretty similar. It's been far from basic. It is rust, so they still throw a ton of details on there. But we have a pretty clear change to the design this year. And man, I am so here for it. So the biggest change that they made was Jordan adding that zipper to the sixes. I wanna say that the last shoe that I played in that had that zipper set up might've been like, you know, the PG4 Gatorade. And those were really solid, but I just think the zip looks cool on shoes. And they went all out on the details, of course. The zipper portion is gonna kind of run around the sock liner. It has some like letters on there that says why not and i didn't even notice that until like my third time playing in them but i mean i just think that was a really cool kind of design and this is the bright crimson colorway you probably could have guessed that just by looking at them but they have a pretty loud design but i really do like the lime green touches that they put on there the toe box actually has some little dots that make these look like a basketball and then from the front you're going to be able to tell that the zipper kind of runs horizontally across the shoe i know that the pg4 had more of like a straight on approach but on the back side of the shoe you will get more of a simple setup which is the jumpman logo along with like russ's player logo kind of showing up on that pull tab and there are going to be like some other colorways out there that you honestly might like better but i think the overall setup for the why not six is just really sweet but we are more so here to talk about how the shoes play for performance so let's check out how they hold up on the court so now getting into more of the materials and the performance side and starting off with the cushioning we're going on three years running of like roughly the same cushioning setup the why not zero six uses a large volume four foot zoom air unit in each shoe and that's meant to kind of help return your energy and just help generate explosive bursts of speed that's more so how nike like lays it out for you on their site so it is going to be similar cushioning tech to what we've been seeing like i said but i do feel like this year it did take a step forward so the cushion does have like more spring in the forefoot this year and i'm always a fan of that and the heel padding it just really isn't that far behind and since this is jordan brand i kind of liken these to a softer version of like the zion 2 and i wasn't sure how the upper was going to like feel or play with that zipper kind of running along the like design but there were no issues in the surrounding cushioning cushioning like in the sock liner and stuff like that running up the shoe it honestly feels pretty nice but using our durometer to check out the midsole these were reading at a 34.5 and that is a little bit softer than average so honestly i was happy to see the cushion had like a little bit of a different feel after i want to say you know the twos threes and the fours they all played pretty similar i'm definitely rocking with the y not zero six when it comes to comfort though they feel great on the court so now getting into more of the materials and the support, this is a spot where I guess you could probably say the most changes take place. The upper is gonna be made out of a synthetic leather and air ripstop for sturdy build that won't slow you down. And if you know Russ's game, dude never slows down. I love it though, because I ride with anyone that competes like that man does. And having these in hand, honestly, like with this new upper, I kind of figured it was gonna be a lighter model. And these are still very light, weighing 416 grams for a size 10 and a half. That's up a little bit from the fives, which weighed like 392 grams for the same size. And honestly, I forgot about that. Like that is crazy light but so is 416. But one thing that was never really in doubt on this model was the support, and that's for a few different reasons. First off, you are gonna have some midfoot straps, and I like that the upper is, you know, a little bit more transparent, so you can actually see, you know, those underneath the design in that lime green underneath the orange. But tightening those definitely just makes your foot feel a little bit more secure. And then the zipper takes away like any other movement that your foot may try to do. That's just from what I've noticed on the court. And I wasn't sure if there would be like any heel slippage with that like zip model, but nah, it's just like really not there. And then along with those features, is going to be a midfoot plate that kind of runs through the model but i mean that's just for some added stabilities and most shoes are going to have that but i mean a lighter shoe with good support that's really all you're looking for in this section check and check so finishing off with the traction and looking at the pattern first, man, praise God, they finally took away the rice pattern that they had been using and they tossed on more of like this herringbone design. That's at least what you're gonna see in that lime green portion. The orange, it is gonna be closer to like that rice setup. But traction has been like a little bit spotty over the last few Westbrook models. That's kind of to put it nicely. I wanna say the one take fours, they like mop the floor with the why not fours, the why not threes for sure. But enter why not zero six. Man, these have noticeably, noticeably better grip than how 
his shoes had been playing. And even leave that out, these just do a good job of catching the floor in general. But I mean, doing our squeak test, they don't really, you know, make the most noise. That's more has to do with like the material on the outsole. But you know, in that case, that just doesn't translate to how these play on the court. Like on any of my movements, I didn't really slip or slide. Dust didn't play much of a factor on these either. So I was happy to see that. But finishing off with the sizing, true to size is probably what I'd recommend on these. With the width is going to be pretty standard and the length, that's about how you'd like it too. So honestly, the Y906, these kind of came out of nowhere and struck me by surprise out of Russ's line. You've kind of heard me like not necessarily bag on his shoes, but they had been pretty similar from the twos, threes, and fours. They didn't switch up a whole lot as far as like the cushioning tech and stuff like that. They didn't switch it up here much either, but it just plays better. And the shoe's light. I mean, it's got good support features and the traction definitely took a step forward. So should you buy the Y906 for $140? No doubt. Thank you guys for taking some time to watch. Feel free to throw us a follow or a sub if you like this video. And if you're interested in buying the Y906 and you want to support our channel, just click the link here on screen or we have links down below or in our bio. Feel free to check that out. But until next review, I'm Landon from Shoeware. Peace.